Hello, this is Patrick Dean, and uh, I want to welcome you to uh, th this Facebook Live. And I was going to talk about some great qualities of leadership and some other stuff, and I think uh, I've changed my mind about that. And I'm going to talk about one quality that I know that you have that you might not have used in a while or uh, uh, for, you know, for a long time. Maybe you have not recognized it. So I'm going to talk about that quality tonight. And I think by the end of this, uh, this Facebook Live, you're going to find some real value and maybe even uh, take some action on what we're going to talk about. So I'm ready to have some fun and, and uh, talk about the hidden qualities uh, that you have. So that we all have, actually. Um, I am in my sunroom here in Dillon Beach and uh, or a lack of sunroom. And the reason I'm sitting out here and behind me, it's pouring rain up here. And um, I was all with clients all day long today, and I uh, wanted to check on my neighbor who was building his fence uh, out there in the pouring rain. So I put on my slickers and stuff and went out there and checked on him. And I said, you know, uh, it's pretty it's pretty wet out here. And uh, we were talking about fishing, and we were talking about some other stuff that, that we'd done before and gotten wet and spent a lot of time wet. And... Uh, so uh, he's standing out there doing something in the pouring rain. And uh, when I asked him about that, he said, well, at least it's not cold. And I think that this is one, you know, it just reminded me of some of the great qualities of people that accomplish a lot. At least, you know, he wasn't looking at how wet he was or, or feeling sorry for himself at all. He's an awesome guy. He's a, he's a, a great businessman. And uh, he said, at least it's not cold, so I'm getting it done. So... Um, great quality there. Um, so I am uh, uh, president and founder of a company called Seminar Systems. And part of what we do is mentoring and coaching. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that at the end of the time that we talk together. Uh, so uh, let's jump in right away and uh, get, get on to this topic about this hidden quality that we all have. So I was, I was um, watching YouTube uh, the other day, and I, I watched a lot of presentations on leadership, and I was watching the training of the Navy SEALs. It was a rather long YouTube video on training of C Navy SEALs. And I've had the privilege of working with Special Forces and also the Marine Corps in some training, and I've uh, had a few, a few of these people uh, who have been through this training in my in my classes and training. And so I uh, wanted to talk about that a little bit. As I watched this training, I really, it really got me thinking about myself. It got me thinking about my clients. Now the training, of course, as you probably all know, is hugely physical and uh, puts a big press on people. Uh, th uh, these, these guys that are in training are in the water, in the freezing water, fully clothed. They're challenged, uh, 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 pushed to the max on their ability to handle adversity and handle um, uh, pressure. And what they're really screening for, as I watch this, what they're really screening for is they're screening people in, not out. They're screening people in that not only can handle the physical part of it, but they can uh, master their attitude. They can master how they experience things and feel about things in the moment. And leadership is knowing how your attitude affects your team. It's very powerful how that, tra that training is screening people in. Now, I have a friend who's a Navy SEAL, and he said that the actual physical part of the training, all that we see, the carrying the logs, laying down in the, in the surf and all that physical training, can be done if you're in good shape at all or if you've ever played sports or any of that kind of stuff. It's, it doesn't require a superhuman person at all, at all. You just got to have attitude and a willingness to stick with it in the most uncomfortable of circumstances. And so what I wanted to, what I, as I watched that, what I noticed, and as I look back at the people that have been in my trainings, and I look back at, at, at uh, uh, the, my clients, I have seen that quality in every single person. That quality of they have more in the tank to give. 
So that's my message for you tonight, that you don't need to be a super athlete or anything, but you have way more in your tank than you think. And after uh, all the trainings I've done, I've worked with over 30,000 people around the world in uh, advanced courses and trainings that were, uh, that did put pressure on leadership and pressure to, to step up the game. I have seen almost all people be able to do that. And so what I'm, what I'm sharing with you is that you have that extra in your tank. And so the question is, if we have it, what are we doing with it right now? And I know uh, for me that I have a, a sort of a drift to for comfort and having it easy and to being able to uh, do the same thing over and over that I know that I do well. And I sometimes drift away from really pressing myself. There's a great scene in this video about uh, the special forces training where they're on the beach in squads and they've been laying in the water and they've been working all day and most of the night. And they, uh, one of the instructors wants to play rock, paper, scissors with each squad. So each squad stands in front of him and, they, and he says, pick out your leader. And the leader steps forward and they play rock, paper, and scissors. If the squad loses, they've got to go back down and lay in the freezing cold ocean water uh, for another 45 minutes. If the squad wins, they get 15 minutes of standing by the fire. And most of the uh, squads lose and they end up going back down to the surf. But what I noticed about that moment of when they lose and they have to go back down in the surf, all of them turn, all of them are committed and all of them go back down there. Uh, I don't hear that whole thing about giving up or whining that I catch myself <laughs> doing every once in a while when things don't go my way. It's just they're in the game fully and they're testing themselves out fully. And again, my, uh, my point here really tonight, the only point, and this is not going to be a long Facebook uh, presentation or anything. My only point is you have it in you. Now, working with my clients, um, I have noticed that the people that are happiest or most fulfilled in the experience of their life push themselves to that place of needing that extra that's in their tank. Now, it's, it's paradoxical because people often say, well, what I want in my life is more comfort or I want things more easier. But my experience has been there's always got to be a place in life where we're challenging ourselves beyond what we've done before. I have noticed that that creates an incredible experience of satisfaction, incredible experience of fulfillment when we're able to do that. So the question for you is, uh, where can you do that in your life? Um, where can you right now or tomorrow look at an idea that you have that you haven't taken action on that you can take action on and that you can start in to do to press yourself or push yourself past the place where you normally would operate. That's where you get that feeling or experience of accomplishment. It's building a fence in the rain and then being able to sit back and ha put your feet up in front of the fire, have a beer and know that you've done something. I think in the, in the last trainings I've been in, uh, major trainings around, I've noticed that there is a real um, kind of, I don't know, uh, a, a resistance to getting out of comfort at all. Like there's a resistance to it or that like there's something wrong. And I think that that's opposite. So the challenge is to pick out something that you want to do, that you want to accomplish. And instead of waiting for the circumstances to be right or waiting for something to happen or looking and looking at all the stuff you have now, start to take action on something and you're going to feel great about it, whether it's something you can do in a day or whether it's something that you can, that you do uh, over a period or it doesn't, as I said, doesn't need to be a lofty, huge goal. All it needs is, is that we human beings work best under pressure. Now, um, 
I, I want to talk about here this thing about pressure versus stress. People mix them up a lot, I think. And um, from from one, from my point of view, uh, ev everything works under pressure. A tires work under pressure. An engine works under pressure. Uh, uh, Brian Clemmer, one of my my mentors, used to say that everything works best under pressure, and that's a great quality in the universe. Stress, however is about resistance to knowing you can do something, but you haven't done it, or you haven't arranged your life around what's important to you, or you have too much stuff to do that's keeping you from really being an expression of your purpose. And I think stress is a mindset that we all get ourselves into, stress and worry. And if we can master that and work under pressure with a focus, I think that that's, that's an awesome quality we can develop in ourselves. I know um, I wanted to show you a picture here of something I did, and I keep this picture around to, uh, for myself and to look at. And this is a, can you guys see this? Okay, this is a picture of me running a 10K. Now, uh, many of you are runners or athletes, and a 10K isn't that big, but that picture is of me running a 10K six months after I had a heart bypass. So what kept me healing and what kept me on the edge was this commitment I made to that 10K and to run that 10K after a heart bypass operation from my silly lifestyle that I had at the time, but have completely changed now. Thank God getting close to death, if you know, that's a motivator. And going out and just running this, uh, this 10K by signing up for it, getting my number, when I couldn't even walk to the end of the driveway. So that's what, that's kind of, when I look at that picture, I go, oh, you got Patrick, you got more, you got way more in you. You got way more in you, you've done it before, you can do it again. And that's what gives color and juice to life. What I am going to suggest for you is that uh, you get a mentor, find a mentor and a coach. And that, the reason that you wanna do that is that you want somebody that's going to hold you accountable, that can help you develop a plan, that can help you identify your purpose and guide you and focus you toward those things and to use that extra in your tank to create some amazing experiences. Imagine by the end of the year accomplishing some of your major bucket list and some of your major goals that you thought you would have to wait years to do. And with the help of a great, great mentor and coach, you can do that. It's worth the, worth the price of admission. 10 times over every great athlete i'm aware of uh, uh has has had a coach at least one coach or more and um and they know that they know the value in that so i would take uh, uh you know i would take some advice or take a look at that as well so anyway you got more in your tank you're awesome you might as well make a decision so if you're gonna it, w my question to you is if you don't if you don't do something now, when are you gonna do it? You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna wait and sit around, okay, God bless you. But if you want some excitement and to press yourself, now's the time to do it. Just when you get when I'm done here talking in just a few seconds, start thinking about something you've always wanted to accomplish, big or small, and jump into it. And uh, next week, I hope some of you are into it when we have our next, uh, when we have our next Facebook Live Wednesday at six o'clock, we'll be in the game. And um, uh, I'd love to hear from some of you that took something on and you have something exciting. Impending event, the next thing, is always one of the greatest motivators for us human beings. We love to look forward to something awesome happening. And this is Patrick Dean for Seminar Systems. Thank you uh, so much, and I will, um, I will uh, talk with you next week, okay? Hi, thank you very much for watching that video, and I hope it had some great value for you. I have a question for you. Are you ready to take some action? And if you are ready to take some action towards some goals or dreams or something you've always wanted to do, I have a way that you can do something right now that's going to move you forward. Below, you're going to see a URL. 
if you copy that and open it, it'll open it to my calendar. And you can set up a time for us to have an actual 30-minute or 45-minute conversation about what's important to you. We can talk. And what we can talk about is getting clarity on your next step. Now, for some people, just this one conversation has incredible value. And there's no obligation that you do anything more. But I want to talk to people who are really hungry in their life to move forward. So, no matter what's important to you, we'll talk about it and you'll get some clarity. I have an amazing team of people that specialize in stuff like health or weight loss or developing a business or anything that's a specialty you, to you or you can work with me personally and I guarantee results in your life from our mentoring and coaching. So, the one action is you've got to set up this time that we can talk. And I love talking to you about what's important to you. Your success is my commitment. So, let's have a short conversation. Set it up and we'll talk.